<clears throat> okay, so this is just a quick video on how to fix one of these XL6009 buck boost converters. Or it might be just buck, or it might be just boost. Anyway, I had two of these blow up, and those are the only two I have, and I don't like waiting for them. And I'm just going to get right to the point. So what blew was the capacitor and this diode right here. This one right here. Uh, so if you just replace the capacitor and the diode with a 3 amp diode, you should be just fine. And the module would work once again. So I'm now going to talk about the symptoms that I had. So when I would plug this in, I have a 19 volt input right here and just a 12 volt output. And I was charging these drill batteries. And the problem that I had was they worked for about 20 seconds when I first plugged them in. And then, uh, it, as of just out of nowhere, uh, the module started hissing at, in a high pitch frequency. So I knew obviously something was wrong and the battery was no longer charging. And that happened on both of these. And so I looked online, somebody said to change the, the capacitor. And so I did, I accidentally changed it with a 2.5 volt capacitor instead of a 25. I couldn't see the decimal point on there. Um, but I changed the, changed it to a proper one and also the diode had been blown it, It's a it's a 3 amp diode. You just throw a new one on there. I threw a 3 amp shot key diode Right on there and now it works just fine. So I'll go ahead and demo that pretty sure it's uh, this cable right here So I'll go ahead and plug this in and as you can see I'm getting charging from this buck boost converter, as it, you might be able to hear, there's no noise coming out of it, which means, you know, it's fixed. It works. And that would be the first thing to check. Check Always check the diode and the capacitor. The output capacitor might be a chink piece of shit, and, you know, you might need to uh, change that out to a better one. But uh, that's all the problems that I had with it. Um... I actually took the whole board apart, and I found out that the diode was bad. So, yeah, definitely check your diodes every time you have something like this break, because it's usually the diode or the chip or a capacitor. These coils don't usually burst, or the potentiometer. I mean, there's nothing going through it. And, you know, that's really it. Thanks for watching. Hope you learned something.